गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग ई विद चैनल नंबर नाइन अवर एंड अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल एंड आई एम कुसुम प्रसाद सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इट्स टाइम टू स्टडी साइंस एंड एज यू ऑल नो दिस इज लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी साइंस टूडे फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ एंड द चैप्टर इज इम्प्रूवमेंट इन फूड रिसोर्सेज पार्ट थ्री यानी खाद्य संसाधनों में सुधार भाग तीन ये हम पढ़ेंगे और इसे पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे आज के एक्सपर्ट हैं और टूडेज एक्सपर्ट इज मिस्टर सुशील कुमार सर सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन वेलकम सर नमस्कार नमस्कार मैम सर है पीजीटी बायोलॉजी केंद्रीय विद्यालय अलीगंज लखनऊ यूपी से सो so, सर uh, बताएंगे आपको इस टॉपिक के बारे में इस चैप्टर के बारे में विस्तार से लेकिन इससे पहले कि हम आज का सेशन शुरू करें हम आपको बता देते हैं हमारे विभिन्न माध्यम कौन कौन से हैं यू कैन कॉल अस ऑन अवर फोन नंबर दैट इज एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ई मेल अस ऑन अवर ई मेल आई डी दैट इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आर एन and apart from this you can also drop your messages your queries your feedback on our youtube channel that is ncert official so let's move to uh, uh, sushil sir sushil sir yes. please yes, sir. begin this uh, session yes 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 so uh, welcome to all the listeners in the pme vidya channel number 9 and today we are going to discuss the improvement of the different crops and in our earlier two session we have discussed that our population is increasing day by day and nowadays there are population around 8 billion and it is still growing so we will need more than 8 billion tons of grain every year to feed this growing population and uh, since increasing the area of the land for cultivation is limited or we can say the area is decreasing day by day so it is necessary to increase the production efficiency of the crop and livestock and we have uh, discussed uh, a lot about how we can develop the more uh, yielding varieties of the different crops how we will be able to uh, develop the Disease resistance variety of the different crops. How we can provide the better irrigation facility? How the use of the different fertilizers, manures, and uh, other things we will be able to uh, increase in the yield of the crops. So today we will discuss uh, about the uh, third part of this session that is uh, dedicated to the crop protection management. So my students. we all know that crop uh, our field crops are infested by a large number of the weed and insect pest as well as uh, other pathogen caused the disease so as the uh, weeds are concerned so if weeds as well as pest are not controlled at the appropriate time then they can damage the crop so much that most of the crop is lost and uh, uh, definitely kisan ka bahut zyada nuksan hoga so uh, first of all i would like to tell you what is the weed so uh, in the crop along with the crop sometimes some other plants also grow up which are not needed these unwanted plants are called weeds there are some example of such plant like there is the one of the popular example that you will be able to see in my slide in the extreme left that is the ganthium it is popularly known as gokru there is another unwanted plant that grow in uh, around our uh, field that is known as parthenium uh, that is a menace uh, for the wheat pupil because the parthenium or gajar grass is or gajar ghas is causing severe allergy to different uh, pupil there is one of the weed that is known as cypress rotundus it is known as coco grass it is also known as java grass it is known as nut grass and it is also known as motha so these weeds are uh, uh, you uh, should know that how these weeds affect the crop these weeds affect the crop because uh, they utilize the nutrient from the soil that are mean to be 
यूज्ड बाय द क्रॉप आप सोचिए जरा जो न्यूट्रिएंट्स प्लांट्स को जरूरत के लिए हम और आप लोग सॉइल से दे रहे हैं उनके अलावा ये अनवांटेड प्लांट भी उन न्यूट्रिएंट के साथ कंपटीशन करने लगती है इसकी वजह से जो किसान की जो प्लांट्स होते हैं फसल वाले उनको प्रॉपर ढंग से न्यूट्रिएंट नहीं मिल पाते हैं दैट इज वाई देयर इज ए नीड टू कंट्रोलिंग ऑफ द वीड्स सो यस सर यस सर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज कांग्रेस ग्रास एंड हाउ इट केम इन इंडिया सर यस सो इट इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन मैम एज द नेम कांग्रेस ग्रास इज कंसर्न सो मैम यू एज वेल एज वी पीपल एवरीवन शुड नो दैट in the past we are not self reliant in the production of the wheat so we depend on the other country uh, to uh, import the wheat so we are dependent on the usa so from usa we uh, people take the wheat uh, that is known as pl uh, 480 series wheat so uh, when uh, this wheat came in india so along with that wheat uh, the um, the the weed uh, that is known as congress grass or botanically it is known as parthenium or since the leaves of the parthenium plant looks like the grass carrot plant so that is why it is known as carrot grass so uh, why it is known as congress grass because at that time in the india um, so in the mid uh, most of the state there was the uh, government of the congress uh, party so uh, the, it is uh, popularly known as congress grass so it is a weed that is botanically known as parthenium and now it is aapne dekha hoga kutum mein aur hamare bachche sab dekh rahe honge road ke kinare ya kheton mein jagah jagah par ye kharpatwar ke roop mein weed ke roop mein hum aur aap log dekh rahe ho iske uh, flower nikalne ke baad aur isse bahut zyada allergy bhi cause hoti hai iske seeds aur flower bahut sari allergy ke liye zimmedar hain uh, so uh, uh, bachcho इन ऐसी सारी वीड्स का कंट्रोल करना बहुत आवश्यक है सो so, इनको कंट्रोल करने के लिए जो केमिकल uh, उपयोग किए जाते हैं या जो भी एजेंट उपयोग किए जाते हैं उन्हें हम वीडिसाइड कहते हैं वीडिसाइड्स आर स्प्रेड ऑन द फील्ड दैट कैन किल द वीड सो देयर आर सम एग्जांपल ऑफ द वीडिसाइड सो यू आर नो दैट देयर इज ए पॉपुलर एग्जांपल दैट वी पीपल आर यूजिंग सिंस द सेंचुरी दैट इज नोन एज नीम एक्सट्रैक्ट हम लोग नीम की पत्तियां और नीम के पत्तियों से एक्सट्रैक्ट बना के उपयोग करते थे अदरक के साथ हम मिर्च को मिला के और उसको पेस्ट बना के उपयोग करते रहे हैं सो देयर आर सम एग्जांपल ऑफ द वीडिसाइड लाइक एथाइल ईस्टर लाइक ग्लाइक फॉस्फेट एंड दैट इज ए नेचुरल एजेंट दैट इज नोन एज नीम एक्सट्रैक्ट सो this is the method with the help of the weed side we will be able to control the weed population there is another method that is a mechanical method of the weed control so in this method weeds can be uprooted manually by the farmers so as you will be able to see in the slide and uh, uh, there is another reason uh, uh, by which we will be able to control the weeds so this is the Uh, if the crop is sown timely are not affected by the weeds as well as uh, using the crop rotation as well as intercropping also reduce the chances of the weed of the growing uh, uh, plant so uh, there is another problem that we uh, face in the form of the pest so our farmers usually uh, face the challenge how they will be able to control the pest population so i would like to tell you what is pest so there are the several insect that are unwanted and these are affecting the crop in different way so uh, these are the unwanted insect and these insect as well as uh, rodent or they may be the uh, uh, some mollusk also so they can cut the part of the crop like the fruit borers like the leaves and the stem so in this way they cause harm of the crop so there is a need to control the the population of the pest so how the population of the pest can be controlled so uh, it is controlled by the help of the pesticide so my students pesticide are the chemical or pesticide are the agent that 
is used to kill the pest and uh, uh, in the pesticide there is uh, another term that is called insecticide so insecticide are the chemicals which are used to kill the insect and these are sprayed on the field to kill the various insect various pathogen various germs so in this way uh, we will be able to control the population of the pest you will be able to see in my slide there are the different pictures of the pest that causes harm to our crops students i would like to show some more photographs that will be uh, able to uh, uh, give you some more knowledge about the uh, different pest so these are the different pest uh, that are causing the harm of the crops in the field so uh, these uh, may be the stem borer these may be the uh, fruit borer or these cause the uh, uh, these uh, are eating the leaves of the growing plants so uh, now the question arises how the pest uh, is controlled so there are the three method of the pest control so uh, these method may be the one of the method is known as biological pest control another is known as mechanical pest control and third one is known as poisonous bait so as the biological pest control is concerned so this is the most uh, useful most significant method most eco friendly method because there is no damage to the environment takes place only targeted insects are eliminated and the expenses are very low and uh, it results in the sustainable outcome so that is why there is need to be used a uh, such type of the biological pest control method like neem leaves like the adrak or mirch ka a paste bana ke ya phir biological control ke aadhar par hum ek kisi dusre organism ko use kar sakte hain dusre pest ko khatam karne mein so uh, Uh, there is another method that is known as mechanical method so in this method there is hand picking is done so this method is this method of the choice when pest are slowly crawling and are not able to fly example uh, there are the caterpillars uh, we are uh, we are uh, we are controlled with the help of the hand picking method uh there is another way that is known as trapping method so it is used for flying pest which can be picked by hand and thereafter they may be wild also uh so in the boiling uh, usually used for flying pest uh, the pest which are able to fly so uh, when we approach to catch their those uh, pest so they start to fly so we will be not able to pick them that is why we used to uh, uh, bind them so uh, we can uh, with the help of the uh, binding of the pest and the waste is removed uh, in a frequent way and then we will be able to uh, uh, control the population of the pest uh, there are uh, one of the method uh, there is one of the method that is known as chemical method so in this method certain chemical are used for controlling the pest so these chemical may be the rodenticide so rodenticide are usually used for the controlling the population of the rodents means jo chuhon ki population ko khatam karne ke liye rodenticide use hota hai there are the insecticide so uh, insecticide are used to control the population of the insect there are some herbicide that are used to kill the herbs herbaceous plant ki population jo ko uh, use karte hain aur fungicide are used for the uh, controlling the fungus population so uh, these are the different way by which we can control the population of the various unwanted insect or pest so let us move to the another uh, that is known as diseases so there are so many diseases may be takes place in the plants so uh, behind the various diseases in the plants so there are the various microorganisms uh, microorganisms are the organisms which are not able to see by the naked eye so microorganisms such as the fungi bacteria and viruses often attack the crops and affect them so these pathogen can be transmitted to the crop via soil water or air so uh, with the help of the disease management method Uh, we will be able to select the crop that suit the temperature and climatic condition of the place planting the seed on right time will help in the disease management as well as using the various herbicides that is the uh, 
uh, they may be the some of the synthetic herbicide, some of the natural herbicide like the organ. So uh, there are the, some of these uh, herbicide can be used for the management of the various disease. So uh, my student, I would like to give in you one activity. So in uh, in the next uh, few days, you will be able to uh, uh, enjoy your uh, winter break. So in the winter break. Uh, please visit a nearby garden or agriculture field and make a list of the weed and the flower crop found in the area. Also make a list of the insect or pest, if any, infesting the flowers or crops. Uh, there are some questions which may be also can be discussed uh, with you. So why should preventive measures and biological control measures be preferred for the protecting crops? So uh, the answer is biological method is a, a method which did not create any harm to the environment. It is a sustainable method and uh, that is why, uh, first of all, we should prevent the pest uh, that uh, our crops should not infest by the pest. But uh, if the pest uh, uh, infested uh, in our crops, so there is the biological control method is the most preferable method. What factor may be responsible for the losses of the grain during the storage? So there are so many factors like the, uh, we have seen some of the uh, rodents as well as some of the other insect or some other kind of the uh, insect may cause the uh, loss of the yield in the uh, storage of the grain. So uh, factors that lead to the storage loss of the crops are the, there are some of the biotech factors like insect, fungi, bacteria, rodents and mice. There are some abiotic factors like the excessive temperature as well as in the moisture. That is why the, uh, the crops product is, is kept inside the green weeds in a condition which, are, which did not have the, so much of the humidity or so much of the heat or so much of the uh, uh, that is known as moisture, but it, it, uh, it should be in the uh, ambient dry condition. So how to prevent the storage loss? So it may be with the help of the maintaining. So maintaining the storage house properly. So uh, uh, storage house can be uh, cleaning the time to time as well as grains are properly cleaned as well as before uh, uh, storage drying the grain properly in sunlight as well as in the seed also. So uh, these are the methods so with the help of which how we will be able to prevent the storage loss. Now I would like to uh, tell you what is the animal husbandry. So animal husbandry is the scientific management of the animal livestock. It includes the uh, caring, breeding and management of the livestock. So uh, we usually do the farming of the cattle for the milk as well as broth and liver. So uh, I would like to give you one of the activity that is in your in NCIT textbook. So please visit a livestock farm in your nearby and please note down number of the cattle and number of the different breeds as well as the amount of the daily milk production from the different breeds. As well as I would like to discuss some, one of the questions. So there is one of the methods that is known as cross breeding methods that is used to improve the cattle breed. So in the cross breeding method, we have already discussed in the previous session that the uh, two superior variety cattle is being uh, crossed and uh, which result in a uh, development of a superior variety of the offspring. And in this way, we will be able to improve the cattle breed by the help of the cross breeding method of the superior variety uh, cattle. So, uh, there is the, one of the another way that is uh, 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 by the help of which we people are getting uh, so many profit with the help of the poultry farming. So poultry farming mainly refers to the growing and protecting the various type of the domestic fowl commercially. So management of the fowls are done by, for the two purposes like the production of the egg, production of the chicken meat. For example, of the, there are the poultry birds like indigenous birds, desi birds like Asil, like Barusha, and there are the foreign birds like the Leghorn, Black Minora. So, uh, uh, discuss the implication of the following statement. It is interesting to note that the poultry in India is most efficient 
converter of the low fiber food stuff which is unfit for the human consumption into the high nutritious animal protein. So uh, we people have seen that हम अपने मुर्गियों को low fiber diet देते हैं inferior quality का लेकिन हमें जब उससे जो भी product मिलता है in the form of meat or in the form of egg, so it contains the highly nutritious uh, substance that is why uh, uh, we can say that uh, this is can be done. So what management practice common in dairy and poultry farming as well as uh, what are the difference between broilers and layers. So uh, these questions you should write down in your uh, textbook, uh, in your, uh, in your uh, notebook with the help of the uh, textbook. So uh, I would like to uh, move to the next topic that is the benefit of the cross breeding. So, uh, during the cross breeding, foreign breeds of the chickens are crossed with the Indian breed to achieve high quality if this has better traits such as increase in number of the chicks, summer adaptation capability and low maintenance requirement as well as cheap diet. So uh, this, uh, this is the question, you should uh, write down the answer of this question in your notebook. And uh, uh, there is the uh, there is the another uh, method by which we people usually produce the various fish products. So fish farming is another way. So fish is a cheap source of the animal protein, and uh, with the help of the uh, fish production, uh, we people get the animal protein. So from the natural sources, we people use the captured fishing, and from the fish farming, that is known as cultured fishing. So uh, there yes, is uh, one of the activities, uh, you can visit a fish farm in the fish breeding season and note the following uh, things like variety of fish in the fish farm as well as types of the pond, fish ingredient and production capacity. So uh, fish is a cheap source of the animal protein of our food and fish production uh, as we have discussed it is a two type and uh, like uh, uh, there is the marine fishery, so marine fisheries are caught uh, using the fish net and mechanical capturing technique and main source of the marine fishery is the marine water or salt water, like the tuna and Bombay duck prawns are raised. Yes Inland sir, fishery. so she is sir. Yes sir. Yes. Yes. So um, yes. it's time to wind up the session. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, yeah. uh, thank you for providing uh, so many information to our students in today's session, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank and you. thank you, students and learner, for watching us this session. So, it's time to say goodbye. Take care. And uh, don't go anywhere. We will be back with another session. So, stay connected to EVIDYA channel. Namaskar.